Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. Today we're going to revisit Attack at Dawn North Africa. This is a historical World War II operational level game where you can fight either as the Axis or the Allied forces in a series of linked scenarios covering the North African campaign. Now, you may recall that we visited this game, we looked at this game, shortly after release, played with it quite a bit, really liked it, and there were some observations about the game as well. The reason I wanted to revisit it today is that towards the end of August, Panzer Division Games, the maker of the game, came out with a big update. And we'll talk a little bit about some of those things, and we'll kind of take a new revisited look at gameplay. And while we do that, I thought we would play um, Operation Brevity, one of the scenarios in the game. And we'll take on the defender's role this time. We're gonna play as the Axis forces. Now we can see here in the middle of the map, there's two goals that the Allies have, Fort Capuso and Halfaya Pass. Historically, the Allies took Halfaya Pass in this engagement, what happened middle of May, uh, over two days from May 15th to May 16th, and the Axis forces held Fort Capuzzo. We're going to see, for the Allies to win, they have to take both objectives. Let's get started here and take a look at what the setup screen looks at. Now, a couple of quick notes here. I have the user interface at a 200%, so it's easier for people to see on the video. If I were playing by myself, I'd have it a lot smaller. I think they have the units a little bit higher too, like maybe 1.5. So normally I'd have more of the map visible here. Now, at the start of this scenario, let's hit the start button here just to kind of set things going here. We can see Halfaya Pass down here to the Southeast, Fort Capuso in the middle. These are the two things that we have to hold. Our Italian units here are in the lighter green. We have some anti-tank units, and then underneath them we have some infantry units. They're going to be holding these objectives and these strong points. We have one battery of artillery here uh, towards our rear, and then we have some German infantry here, some armored cars here. We're gonna move them back a little bit out of the way. Uh, some uh, flak unit over here, and then to the northwest we have panzers and some more armored cars. We also have a squadron of Stukas to be able to bring in some dive bombing, bombing support for us too. Our goal is to hold one of these two objectives at the end of the second day. Let's, uh, we're getting up in the game. If you're not familiar, you can use a real time mode or by clicking this button in the top right, which is new with this update. It used to be in the bottom left. You can switch between real time and we go. I'm gonna use the real time and let's get time started. Now we can't see any of the allied forces. They're gonna be coming at us from the east, southeast, and even I think some from the southwest along this road that comes in from the southwest um, element of Fort Capuzzo. One thing I do wanna do here as well, I'm gonna start bringing our tanks down into the battle because we're going to need them. Let's bring them here to see if we can hold this ridge maybe for a little bit. Hafid Ridge here might be able, a little bit of aggressive move, but we'll see it. And we've moved our armored cars back. That's good. Now, while we're waiting for the Allied forces to show up, let's chat momentarily about some of the things that have changed in the game that we won't see. Oh, yeah, there, that's our armored cars moving. Sod, I thought it was the Allied forces there for a second. Some things that we won't see in this scenario. You can now save your campaign game, which is huge because especially in particular, there was one scenario, the Easter battle, that was really tough to win as the Axis forces. And you can actually lose scenario battles and still win the ultimate campaign. So it's not too distraught. But that one in particular was, uh, a lot of people said it was impossible to win as the Axis forces. They have rebalanced that one. So that's a big change. And then campaign saves are really big as well. There's also restart options. Uh, you can restart any scenario as you're going through it. So that helps as well, because that's going to make it a little bit easier to kind of keep motivated to keep your campaign going so you don't have to start all over again. So we've got our armored forces down here waiting for the allies to show up. I'm going to speed ahead here a little bit, and then we're going to kind of wait till we see the allies here. All righty, a little time has passed. It's still short of 6 a.m. in the morning here, the first day, but we can see the 2nd Royal Tank Regiment has moved up and is in position to attack Halfaya Pass here. So that's happening now. So the British have started to show up. We should see more activity now. We did bring our tanks and armored cars down here on the ridge. The battle has started here, and we can zoom in a little bit. If you're not familiar with how the battles work, the more squares there are, the better it is for the attacker. So we can see our forces here are getting hit pretty hard here in Alfaya Pass. To be totally honest, I'm not really going to try to defend it that hard, but let's run up here, however, since we have our dive bombers, let's see if we can put a hurt on them, because eventually I think we want to knock these tanks out, maybe on the second day. But okay, let's resume action now. We should start to see the attack come here on Fort Capuso too. All right, here comes our Stukas dropping the bombs on the on the Royal Tank Brigade here. Got some Australian armored cars here showing up too. So far, nothing else though. Kind of 
a little bit surprised that more things haven't appeared. I, I think Halfaya Pass is actually going to fall. And I did pull, we had some infantry here in this strong point. I pulled these back to, to Solemn with their anti-tank guns and brought this infantry. Let's actually move them up here. See if we can strengthen that. Here comes some British air to hit our position here. This is going to fall, I think, relatively quickly, but that's okay. I think, um, yeah, we'll just, we'll let them kind of do that. Let's actually, let's pull these units over here to, to help support the defense over here. Because I, 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 how far I pass, I think, is going to fall pretty quickly. We might be able to get it back on the second day, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we're getting beat up pretty hard here. Oh, here comes some more armored cars. Here comes the main offensive now. More British forces coming down the road here. Airstrikes, Halfaya Pass falling, but armored cars coming in the middle here. Yeah, but we can see our units when those armored, when the airstrike happens, the morale just drops. The morale is that green bar right in the middle, and our defenders here having a hard time of things. Infantry, German infantry holding on, but yeah, it's looking pretty grim here. Now, here come some more forces. Okay. Oh, and we got more over here too. Anti-tank units. So this seems like this is delayed a little bit here. All right. Major thrust from the southeast here. I get these riflemen up into the strong point. Yeah, and then I think we're doing okay. Oh, this is not looking very good for us. Let's pull the... I want these guys away from this. I don't want them to engage in combat. I'd like to rather have these guys sneak behind enemy lines and try to make a mess of things because they don't need to be in supply, um, whereas this does. So we're trying to get, get our guys out of here. Infantry unit chasing here. A lot of forces showing up now. The battle is picked up and Halfaya Pass will fall very quickly here. There it is. Infantry Scottish Guards coming from over here. Now, I've played this scenario before, and interestingly enough, the Scottish Guards came from the southeast. So it seems like there's some variability in how the scenarios play out in terms of which way the offenders, the kind of the offense will attack here, because they're definitely coming at us from a different direction and in a more deliberate pace. Now, here we go. Now we've got some stuff going on. These armored cars are chasing us all over the place. It's hussars. Right, a lot of forces coming down this road. Ideally, I'd like to have this armored car. Oh, Halfaya Pass is going to fall now. I'd like to have this armored car cut away. Okay, good. Because I think there's going to be some artillery coming up here. And if we can catch that artillery without protection, that would be a big help. Halfaya Pass going to fall sh shortly. These units are knocked out. That's okay. Has our air force? No, it's still refitting here. Can our artillery, ideally, I'd like our artillery to hit these tanks if they could. But we'll see what kind of presses up first here. All right, so they've spread themselves out. We've got a pretty strong attack force coming at us here. They're moving rather slowly down this road, though. I mean, it's 8 o'clock in the morning on the first day. I'm curious to see, yep, Halfaya Pass. One of the other things that's new, there's a lot more notifications that are available in the game. So you get notifications for a lot more important things, which is really helpful. That is definitely a plus here. All right, so we've got some attacks coming here. Holding on this stronghold, that's okay. We're actually putting a pretty good hurt on them there. Here come the Hussars down the road. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to shift these guys here and pull these guys in here just make our line a little bit stronger. So they're holding here at Halfaya Pass. So maybe their objective is to take that and hold. Now we have some action coming up here too. All right. Fine. We'll take this artillery. Let's get our artillery shots in here. And let's have it hit these units on the ridge. See if we can hold that as long as possible. Big battle here at the strong post in the middle. I might speed up, excuse me, might speed up the pace here just a little bit. Let's go up to 64 speed to pick things up a little bit. All right, big battle here. We seem to be doing a pretty good job holding this ridge here. And I think we can let loose our armor here pretty quickly. More forces coming in. This strong point is going to fall too. Have we got our planes yet? Yes, we do. Okay, let's pause and figure out where we want our Stukas to go. We'll have them set up to strike. We could hit these armored cars down here. Could hit this unit right here and totally decimate it. Let's let's send them after these tanks because I think the tanks are the biggest problem, and we're gonna have to deal with them later. Well, that that's fine. So I'm gonna let this play out a little bit. We'll come back when something as things change a little bit more here. Here comes our Stukas. Yes. Oh, the air unit is damaged. 
Damn it. That's not good. It usually gets knocked out for the rest of the day then. Ah, uh, that's frustrating. Okay. Now we need to send our tanks around here. We can't go there. There. Okay. I'm going to send them down here. Let's send our armored cars. Oh, we need to get them up there pretty quickly. Send our armored cars this way too. All right. Well, a lot of forces coming down here now. This is going to fall soon too. Lots of pressure. Artillery ready? Reloading. Artillery. Our aircraft is damaged, which is not good. And this is going to fall. Okay. All right. Now our tanks come in and hit these Scottish guards. That's good. Armored cars coming in here. I'm looking for enemy artillery. Where is it? Let's see if we can come in and hit these guys from the rear. Just sneak up and get them from behind. Oh, this fell. Okay. So that outpost fell. We're being pushed back slowly but surely. But oh, we got to move forward here. Let's go, guys. Get into the action. How's our artillery doing? Artillery is ready. Good. Let's have them hit these Scottish guards here. See if we can mess that attack up. Good. We can see that as soon as the artillery starts falling, their attack becomes disorganized. So that's a good attack for us. And the tank's putting a big hit on these Scottish guards. Excellent stuff. These units falling back. Scottish guards will probably push up in the middle, but so far, so good. Now we have these armored cars. Oh, the units on the ridge fell here. That's not good. They're attacking right into our units here. Okay, let's send these guys up and see if we can get the Scottish Guards. I feel like we're getting overwhelmed here. Okay. That's not good. The ridge is falling. We're catching these Scottish Guards from behind. Strong attack down here, and I don't imagine our aircraft is ready. It is not ready. Okay. Hopefully we can take these Scottish Guards out. We've got a pretty good line of defense here, I think. But... Okay, we're still doing a pretty good job here in this situation. Here comes an airstrike. That's not good. It's noontime now on the 15th of May. Tight battle. We've lost the ridge line, but we're holding here in the northwest. Now they're coming up to attack Fort Capuzzo. Let's pull these armored cars in. I don't want to run them at these anti-tank guns. Oh, that, that's actually pretty good. We're doing pretty good against them. Okay. Here comes more into tank guns. Scottish guards have broken. That is excellent. We're putting a heavy hurt on this infantry attack. I don't know why these Matildas aren't moving. That's weird. Well, now they're moving, finally. All right, we're hitting this anti-tank gun. Now they're moving up there. Okay. Oh, our infantry here towards Fort Capuso has fallen now, too. So we are pushed back there. All right, do we have any? Oh, we do have artillery. Let's hit some. Let's hit that right there. That seems to be a pretty strong force. So let's drop some shells on here. How's our aircraft doing? Still probably out for the rest of the day. Ah, okay. Uh-oh. We got to get this unit out of here. They are under taking a heavy hit. This We don't want these tanks chasing us around here. God, our units are getting just pushed back all over the place. Okay, we've broken this British infantry. That's good. Lots of casualties going each way. I do not want... Let's go up. I don't want to take on these, too. All right, so they're pulling back. We've pushed them back. We've done a pretty decent job, I think. Centurions now coming after us. Oof, we're going to take a hit there. Here comes some airstrikes. It's a busy day here. Oh. If, these, if this armored unit will chase us all over the desert, that would be okay for these guys down here, our armored cars. All right, so hanging on. We'll kind of see how this plays out here. Our tanks are holding pretty well up here to the to the outside of Fort Capuso. Our Fort Capuso seems to be holding pretty well. Artillery has expended itself for its day. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Defenses are holding okay. Here comes the tanks, though. That's not good. All right, let's slide these guys. Maybe we can catch them from the rear. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I want to catch these anti-tank guns again. We seem to be pretty, effect, pretty effective against them. Oh, they're pushing the Centurions up here against this strong point here. Holding our own, but it's tough now. Our tank, our Panzers up here are pretty tough, though. They're doing a pretty good job. I'm not sure that's going to last, though. Oh, we broke that anti-tank unit. Good. We're pretty even here hitting it out with the Hussars right now. So we're hanging on, I think. That's going to make it tough, though. These tanks... This one right here. They've fallen behind the 4th Royal Tank Regiment. 
coming in pretty strong strength here. Oh, the Scott, these guards broke on the attack on Fort Capuso. It's holding the anti-tank unit half that broke. We've kind of sh shattered a good portion here of this British attack. I feel like we're doing okay for the end of the first day here. That unit just broke. I feel like we need to pay attention to these tanks here. And I think one of the new features here is there is a default fire mode. I think we can change the fire mode on this unit. I'm not quite sure how to do that, though, because I'd rather have them hit here. But we'll let this kind of play out for right now. Artillery's good. Is aircraft fixed? No. Most of our units have retreated up here now. Okay. Falling back. Hopefully these Hussars will break and we can just slug it up with these tanks until the end of the first day. That would be that would be pretty good. Our defenders here in this strong point hitting these tanks pretty hard. Good. That unit broke. This unit hopefully will break. We've kind of done a pretty good job here, I think. I mean, their two strongest units are left, which is problematic. But overall, okay, that unit broke. Let's have them take this stronghold. Now, one of the things that's really the new with the update here, this gray arrow. This is cool because it shows planned moves that can't be executed because something's in the way. That was one of my observations before was that when you were trying to, oh, the British armor broke. We don't have to worry about them then. Let's pull them over here and see if we can hit this. So we can see now this gray arrow means that unit was in the way. Now it's moved out of the way so we can attack and kind of sneak in behind here. Um, and this this was a problem I thought it wasn't huge, but it created some frustrations before. Sometimes you'd plan a move and you thought you executed, but you didn't get any feedback that the unit wasn't going to go anywhere. And so then you'd kind of keep pushing forward on it and you, you you kind of have these units scattered all over the place that had kind of lost their orders but now they hold those orders as we could see that gray arrow we couldn't execute because it was enemy unit in the way as soon as the enemy unit moved out of the way it continued executing its orders which is really helpful that that's that's good and that 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 alone that gray arrow makes a huge difference in how the game is executed here nice we're doing pretty well here i think this Armored unit's going to break through, though, isn't it? I think we're attacking up the ridge, which makes it worse. Let's pull out and then come back in. Our panzers are going to break here, aren't they? Ah, uh, bummer. But we're closing in on the end of the first day. Wow, we've had a lot of units shattered. So they have withdrawn. The attack on Halfaya Pass succeeding. The attack on Fort Cabuso so far not succeeding. Our armored cars here getting punched a little bit. Our panzers have broken, but our defenses have held. The enemy has withdrawn to a certain degree here, and we're in the last, I think it ends at seven o'clock at night. So I think we've got about an hour left before the end of the first day here. And then hopefully our aircraft, which is still damaged here in the bottom right, we can see that, will come back and be able to function tomorrow. So we get an overnight rest. Our units will recharge. We'll bring them back down into action here. And we'll see if we can withstand the British attack on the second day. So far, so good, though. I'm not liking what's happening to our armored cars here, though. This is causing me great concern. Morale 3. Yeah, they're going to break any minute now, huh? How are they doing? Morale 26. We have done some damage here, though. That's, that's, that's to be considered. Now it's getting dark. The end of the first day... Let's see what happens. Okay, so second day starts. We have up here in the northwest, we can see a panzer uh, regiment and then a flak regiment for reinforcements. We have not yet taken care of this, inf this uh, armor down here. Let's have our artillery start their day off on a bad note. We want to hit them hard. Now, ideally, I'd love to see if we can take Halfaya Pass. I think we have till three in the afternoon in this scenario. We've got to get all of these units down here. So I'm going to plan their moves and then we'll get started. All right, our aircraft is back and thing. I've plotted everybody's movement. I want to see if we can take out these Matildas quickly. This, what is it? The 4th fourth, fourth Royal Tank Regiment. They have been up at the front, hopefully under a lot of pressure. Put an airstrike on them, bomb, hit them with artillery, really try to mess their day up. Disorganize, good. I think this is our biggest threat here. We definitely want to hit them hard. All right, so we'll continue this on. We'll see how things play out here. And let's go there, guys. I'm expecting we're going to see a renewed British offensive here, but I'd love to see if we can push up, perhaps. Let's keep going and retake Halfaya Pass. That would be pretty cool. Oh, we're getting beat up here. Here comes the enemy, too. We need these panzers real quick. 
Push these back. How are they doing? Morale is 13. That's not too bad. Oh, they broke our armored cars. Okay. Here they come. All right. Let's get back up into positions, guys. I'm going to fiddle around with these for another second, too. All right. So we're trying to send our panzers down here to hit this unit hard. If I think if we can take out their armor, we're going to be in pretty good shape. I'm also going to try to pull the 5th Panzer Regiment over here to try to hit these harder. Really like to finish these troops off to get them out of our way here. Because I suspect that's going to be the trickiest, trickiest part of it here. All right, we got some infantry pulling up. More stuff pulling around here. Okay, we're doing okay. Ah, oh, they can't get there. Okay. Oh, I got to think a little bit. We got a log jam here. All right, so basically just trying to move more of our forces up that have recovered here, trying to get them up. And we're hitting this Panzer unit, this Matilda unit, hard here. Let's, we've got artillery to spare here. I feel like, I feel like it's going to break pretty soon and artillery will be wasted on it. So let's have our artillery here hit this infantry. Mess this attack up real quick. All right, and is our air unit good? Nope, not yet. I feel like this armor has to break soon. And with that, there it goes. Excellent. Now we're hitting this infantry hard. Let's push our armor up onto this ridge once we can. Good. As soon as they'll get out of the way and retreat, we'll take the ridge again. And I'm going to sort some things out here in the middle. We've got kind of congestion here. All right. Just trying to reorganize our forces. Oh, here comes some more armor. Is our aircraft ready? It is. Let's bring our dive bombers out. See if we can hit these Centurion tanks here. Is that the second Royal Tank Regiment? Good. Oh, air attacks here. Coming down. All right. Ah, oh, they broke that infantry defense there. This is tough now. Okay. Scottish Guards coming over the hill. We're hitting them hard here. All right. Hitting that tank unit. That's good. All right. Hold on, boys. I'm going to get them out of here. Pushing them. I thought they were going to move there. Yeah, they are. Okay, good. And they're moving there. Good. Move them down here, get more defense. Our panzers have broken. They're hitting us hard here in the second day. How's our artillery doing? Reloading. Oh, these hussars pushing through. Okay, they're attacking pretty strong down here, but this is tricky. Uh-oh, here comes an attack on Fort Capuso itself. Infantry approaching it closely, but we've got in reinforcements to help out. Okay, panzers have broken the Scottish guards. That's good. Centurion, now we want these panzers right here. Nope, nope, yet you guys. Nope, nope. These panzers right to move down here and hit these tanks from the side. That will be helpful. I think that will be really good. But we need our artillery. It's ready. Good. Let's hit these tanks again. Because I think if we can break the tanks, we can break the offensive. And that's the one we want to worry about. How are our planes doing? Not ready yet. All in all, I feel like we're... Well, this is a pretty strong attack here, isn't it? They're putting a hit on these guys. And here comes an airstrike right on them, too. They're trying to break this point so they can attack straight into Fort Capuso. But I think if we can knock their attack out on the flank up here, I think we're going to be okay. And I think we're going to break the Hussars pretty soon. Ah, we've broken that unit. That's good. Anti-tanking it here directly to the south of Fort Capuso. Let's pull these guys up here to support the flank. Bring in on the flank of this regiment trying to attack. So to the east here, we should be able to do okay. We've broken that anti-tank unit. We've broken the Centurions. That's huge. Now let's push forward. Let's go. We've broken the Hussars out on the flank here too. All that's left is this flanking unit out here. Artillery is used. Our aircraft still coming back into shape, reloading and kind of refitting. Broken that attack. Looking like we can hold Fort Cabuzo and get kind of historical result, which would be victory for us. Now it's still only 10 o'clock in the morning though. So there's quite a bit of time left. I think that unit just broke. Nope. Okay. Yes. Okay. The attack here on Hafide Ridge has broken now. This panzer unit, freshly reinforced, has done a pretty good job. We have no more artillery support left. Infantry coming in here to push on Fort Capuso has broken. Let's... Um, I'm going to rearrange for a second and see if we can push down here to Halfaya Pass. Maybe we can get lucky and take that too. So I'm going to pause for a second here and see what we might be able to do Take a poke down the road here with these guys and see what might happen. Also, we could be able to attack this position here. At the very least, we'll be flanking these Hussars. That's good as well. And we need, we're need we going to need our tanks, though, right? Because if we can break these units here, 
And we can push straight up to the strong point, pin them from both sides, and then perhaps roll on to Halfaya Pass. That might be a stretch, though. Actually, let's bring double the support here. Let's have them move here. Oh, good. They're all broken. Excellent. So let's send these guys here. Actually, not that way. We're going to have them go that way. It would be better. Down the ridge and in. Oh, we're getting hit hard here on this strong point. I think Fort Capuso is safe. I'm going to push these guys up just because I think we can. Yeah, there we go. We'll just be bold here. Good, we broke the Hussars there. We can move these guys up. See if we can take this strong point. Good. British attack is in shambles. I think we've done a pretty good job here of holding Fort Capuso and holding that line in the ridge and making sure we addressed all the threats and things like that. Looks like the historical result at least is in hand and perhaps we can push on to Halfaya Pass as well. One of the things I just kind of mentioned this before as we played the game too, but I think one of the things that's apparent as I've played this quite a bit now, uh, historical results, it's, it's a really fun game for looking at the study of history because you have the historical forces and getting the historical results seems pretty common. And it's, a, well, there are hypothetical scenarios in the game as well. Uh, these kind of historical outcomes seem to be what the game channels to. So it's a pretty cool study, I think, of kind of what the historical battles were like as you're playing through with them. Yet, as you're playing through, yet at the same time, good, this broke. We can take that strong point. Now the question is, can we push on to Halfaya Pass in the last couple hours here? Let's, I'm going to actually split these up. Let's cancel that. Split these up because I want the tanks to go faster. I'm going to pull the tanks down here. Whoops. Down here, straight to Halfaya Pass that way. And then go the other unit. They're going to do the same thing, but I'll just give them the slow road. They'll move independent of each other. Now we can send everything we've got to Halfaya Pass. We need to start the attack pretty quickly. You'll go there. You'll carve out. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry, you'll go there. Good. You'll come up here. You'll come down the road and go there. And then you'll come down here and we'll figure out what to do with you when you get there. All right, let's resume. I think this scenario ends at two or three o'clock, so I think we are almost done. But last thing I want to do, let me pull this artillery up into Fort Capuso because just in case something shows up behind our backs there. I don't think that's going to happen, but I don't think we have enough time to take Alfaya Pass because I think we're going to not really be able to get there and get enough forces in position to be able to strike it hard and fast. I think our tanks might get there, but yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna make it. They'll go there, go there. Looks like we're gonna get the attack off though. And they just have a rifle regiment, their rifle brigade there. So, oh, they're putting a hurt on us though. Our aircraft good? It is, excellent. Let's get our Stukas. I thought they were done for the day. Let's bring them out. Airborne guys, let's go. They're going there, going there, okay. I send you there? I can't to bring these guys around. Uh, it's, it's not going to work, is it? Oh, they broke. That's okay. Good. So they can replace the units that are broke. There's that artillery unit. Ah, oh, they broke our infantry. Wow, they're attacking Halfaya Pass has been challenging here. But I think time's going to be the thing that kind of closes out on us. Let's actually send our armor this way to try to hit that artillery. All right. Move forward, guys. Attack. I want to take this artillery out. That's the one I was looking for earlier in the battle, but I couldn't find them, and now they're here. So let's, uh, I'll let this go forward, and we'll see how this final attack plays. I'll be back in a couple minutes here. All right, so it's about 2.30 now, and our final attack, we've got Alfaya Pass surrounded. I pushed, drove, the, used the panzers to drive that artillery back. The question is whether we can capture it before the scenario ends, but it's not looking pretty good. They're kind of putting a pretty good hurt on our attacking forces here. Although these panzers are going to be tough for them to take out. I would expect this rifle brigade to uh, to fall somewhat soon. Low morale. They broke. We could get it. Let's get in there now. Let's go. Go, go, go. Take it. Take the place. Let's go. Can we get it before the scenario ends? I don't think we can. But we'll see. 
Our panzer is rushing to Helfaya Pass. We've captured it excellently. We've beaten the historical result if things hold the way they are. Um, that unit up there is making me a little bit nervous. Let's pull these guys back along the road with our flak unit here into Helfaya Pass to hold. Let's send the panzers up here to try to hunt these guys down. I think it's going to end any moment now, though. Push them that way. Yeah, have them go up there. The flak unit hold the pass. These guys, just in case these, these guys are out of control, they're not going to come back and attack, I don't think. So I think we're okay. I think we may have pulled this off. I'm going to let this play out a little bit, and then we'll come back as things wrap up. All right, so there we are. The scenario just ended shortly after four o'clock on the second day, and we, we uh, managed to, to win. We picked up a win there because they captured zero of their two objectives. Both Fort Capuso and Halfaya Pass were in our possession. We thwarted the Allied offensive. Uh, Casualty-wise, we had 2,167 losses to their 2,312 for soldiers. Tanks, 34. We inflicted 57. We really kind of chased those armored... Uh, Brigades around pretty good, I think. Regiments around. Uh, we lost a lot of anti-tank guns, but those were the majority of our defense. About 25% of our anti-tank guns have been knocked out. We did take out about half of their anti-tank guns, put a little damage on their artillery. Neither side had aircraft losses. We, however, suffered 25% major losses to their 19% significant losses. So we did suffer more. I'm, I'm not quite sure how I, I get that because it looks like outside of anti-tank guns, we inflicted considerably more damage, especially when you look at tanks. We really put the herd on their armor. But anyway, that's that's the maybe that's a percentage of troops or something like that. It's a per oh okay yeah because we have fewer infantry. That's probably what accounts for the greater percentage and the greater losses. So considering we're outnumbered, I'll take that. There you go. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. A revisit. I really like. It's a small thing, but that planned move arrow. And the increased notifications, in particular, the planned move arrow is so helpful. It changes the whole nature of managing your forces and figuring out what's going on. It's such a helpful informational tool. So I really like that. That was one of the things that I struggled with in the original game. I mean, I like the original the original release. I liked it a lot. It's fun. It's very historical. I like, however, that they've balanced that Easter battle, Easter battle scenario. I like that the campaign now can save and that you can restart. They're just user-friendly things that, you know, in today's game age, we really, we would expect to see in a game of this nature so that you don't get, you know, four scenarios in and then have to start over again. That kind of, that's kind of a bummer. Um, but, you know, from the individual scenarios, I'm really liking that planned arrow as well. Let me know what you think. Uh, we'll be back with another. If you've enjoyed this one, you might also enjoy our look at Desert Rats, the latest DLC to uh, Unity of Command 2. I'll put a link to that up here. And I'll put a link as well to some of the earlier scenarios that we looked at with this game, too. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in an episode pretty soon.